physicists find ultra-rare triple glue ball particle after 48 years. It has taken physicists just under half a century to confirm the theory about the triple glue ball particle. This particle, known as Odoron, was first predicted by scientists in 1973, but was never seen in the real world. It is an ultra-rare and short-lived combination of three gluons, which are tiny particles. Scientists theorized that the Odoron would occur when protons smashed together at extremely high speeds, although they could not figure out the exact conditions needed. Odorons are unique particles formed with three sticky gluons, which serve an essential role in the makeup of protons and neutrons. Gluons carry the strong force, one of the fundamental forces of the universe that glue quarks together and allows them to form protons and neutrons, then binding them together with atomic nuclei. When protons smash into each other in colliders, they break apart nearly three quarters of the time. In a quarter of the experiments, though, they bounce off each other and survive the collision. This could be due to the exchange of some gluons between particles during the interaction. Proton-proton and proton-antiproton collisions exchange particles and sometimes result in a glue ball, where two or three gluons emerge. Although scientists had already witnessed a double glue ball, they recently confirmed the existence of the Odoron, a triple glue ball. After spending decades examining data from two colliders, scientists have uncovered enough conclusive evidence to indicate the rare particle's existence. Researchers collected information from the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, in Geneva, a 27-kilometer circular atom slammer that discovered the Higgs boson and the now-defunct Tevatron in Illinois, USA, which is a 6.3-kilometer-long collider that slammed protons and antiprotons together. The researchers theorized that the varying rates in the two types of collisions would reveal odorons, because there would be a minute difference between the frequencies of protons bouncing off of antiprotons and other protons. They instituted a mathematical approach to compare the data from the two colliders since they occurred at differing energy levels, producing a graph they then called the money plot. This plotted graph reveals the existence of the odoron in the space between the two types of collisions, they do not line up exactly, which implies the particle exists. It also has a five-sigma statistical significance, solidifying the proof and reaching the gold standard in determining new particles. The odds of this gap occurring without influence from odorons is about 1 in 3.5 million. Despite having predicted its existence nearly 50 years ago, scientists argue that the odoron will not alter any aspect of the way we approach or understand physics. Some researchers even reject it being considered a true particle, arguing that it is only a quasi-particle since it is temporarily arranged of smaller particles. Regardless, the recent evidence is crucial to the science community because it confirms the theory about the different rates of collisions. The 1973 prediction was correct after all. The Large Hadron Collider, situated beneath the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, Switzerland, represents one of the most significant scientific endeavors in human history. It is a colossal particle accelerator designed to probe the fundamental building blocks of the universe and explore the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. Since its inception, the Collider has produced a wealth of fascinating discoveries, shedding light on the fundamental forces, particles and phenomena that govern our universe. Perhaps the most iconic discovery at the Large Hadron Collider was the confirmation of the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle. The search for the Higgs boson began as an essential quest to complete the standard model of particle physics, the theoretical framework describing the fundamental particles and forces in the universe. In July 2012, scientists at the Collider announced the discovery of a new particle, consistent with the Higgs boson. This elusive particle is responsible for endowing other particles with mass through its interactions with the Higgs field. The Higgs boson's discovery validated the standard model and provided a profound understanding of the origin of mass in the universe. Another remarkable discovery at the Large Hadron Collider involved the recreation of a state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma. Quark-gluon plasma is believed to have existed just moments after the Big Bang when the universe was extremely hot and dense. At the Collider, Scientists collided heavy ions, 
such as lead nuclei, at incredibly high energies, generating temperatures and pressures akin to the early universe. Through these collisions, physicists were able to observe the transition of matter into quark-gluon plasma, providing insights into the behavior of fundamental particles during the universe's infancy. This discovery contributes to our understanding of the strong force and the fundamental constituents of matter. In 2015, the The Large Hadron Collider Beauty Collaboration at the Collider announced the discovery of an exotic particle known as the pentaquark. Unlike traditional hadrons composed of three quarks or a quark-antiquark pair, pentaquarks are composed of four quarks and one antiquark. This finding expanded the known particle family and challenged previous theories about quark combinations. The discovery of pentaquarks has far-reaching implications for our understanding of the strong force and the nature of hadrons, opening new avenues for research into the dynamics of quarks and gluons. The study of rare B meson decays at the Collider has revealed intriguing deviations from the predictions of the standard model. These decays involve the transformation of B mesons into lighter particles, such as muons and electrons, via weak interactions. Precise measurements of these decays have shown discrepancies with the expected outcomes, suggesting the possibility of new physics beyond the standard model. These findings could signify violations of a fundamental symmetry in particle physics called Lepton flavor universality, which posits that all leptons should interact with weak forces equally. The observed anomalies have sparked intense interest among physicists and have motivated further investigations into potential new particles or forces. The Large Hadron Collider has played a crucial role in the global effort to uncover the nature of dark matter, the mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe's mass. While dark matter has yet to be directly detected, the LHC's experiments have provided valuable insights and constraints on potential dark matter candidates. One approach involves searching for missing energy in collision events, as dark matter particles would escape the detectors without leaving a visible trace. Although no definitive evidence for dark matter has emerged, the Collider's precise measurements and exclusion limits have narrowed the range of possible dark matter properties, guiding future experiments and observations. The Large Hadron Collider stands as a testament to humanity's insatiable curiosity and determination to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Its groundbreaking discoveries, including the confirmation of the Higgs boson, the exploration of quark-gluon plasma, the detection of pentaquarks, the study of rare B meson decays, and the search for dark matter, have expanded our understanding of particle physics, cosmology, and the fundamental forces that govern our reality. Archaeologists uncover 3,000-year-old gold mask in China belonging to a mysterious ancient society. In 2019, archaeologists began diligently digging for artifacts in southwest China at the Xingxing Jui excavation site in the Sichuan province. To date, they have managed to uncover more than 500 different artifacts made from jade, ivory, bronze and gold and estimated to be nearly 3,000 years old. It is still unclear who crafted these objects, although archaeologists and historians believe it was the Shu State, a mysterious society that collapsed over 2,000 years ago. This civilization was highly skilled, but we know little about them as they left hardly any written records and the neighboring Qin State conquered them in 316 BCE. One of the most significant finds in the treasure trove is that of a 0.6-pound gold mask fragment. It is made up of about 84% real gold and would probably have weighed nearly a pound as a whole item. It is one of the heaviest gold masks archaeologists have found in China, dating back to that specific period. They believe that priests likely wore the mask during religious ceremonies and events. They discovered it within six rectangular sacrificial pits, along with an assortment of other decorated objects. Additionally, the archaeologists found silk while digging at the site. There were two kinds, one wrapped around bronze items and another scattered amongst ashes. Researchers theorize that the citizens of Sing Sing Jui in the Shu State wore silk garments during religious ceremonies as the material has played an essential role in Chinese history and serves as a connection between the heavens and earth. The finding of the silk at the excavation site indicates that the mysterious Shu society was most likely a crucial origin point for silk within ancient China 
and its development of the Silk Road. The first artifacts to be discovered were in 1929, when a local farmer found jade and stone objects while fixing a sewage ditch. Excavations began soon afterward and have managed to uncover more than 50,000 ancient artifacts since then. Among the treasures, the archaeologists also found bronzeware of multiple sizes and decorated with images of animals, gold ornaments and ivory carvings. In 1986, archaeologists discovered two sacrificial pits containing over 1,000 artifacts such as intricate bronze masks. They were in surprisingly good condition too. In 2019, they uncovered another hole and an additional five in 2020. Most of the objects were burned, indicating that the builders used these pits for ritual sacrifices. Some of the items resemble artifacts found in Southeast Asia along the Yangtze River, giving us some insight into their lives. The ancient Shu state most likely interacted with other civilizations and exchanged goods. The site is currently on the list for consideration to be named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. These archaeological discoveries help researchers paint a clearer picture of what life was like 3,000 years ago, living in the Sing Sing Jui culture. An artifact from Egypt's Great Pyramid was just found in a cigar box in Scotland. In 1872, British engineer Wayneman Dixon and his friend Dr. James Grant, a physician and explorer, took a trio of ancient artifacts from the Great Pyramid of Giza. The two were commissioned by the Egyptian Antiquities Service to survey and excavate the pyramid. Their task was to find artifacts within the pyramid and ensure their safe preservation in a museum in order to prevent the illicit trade of the country's ancient relics. During the excavation of the pyramid, the team found three artifacts, a ball, a hook and a five-inch piece of cedar wood in the Queen's chamber. These three items, now referred to as the Dixon relics, are the only known items ever removed from the 4,500-year-old pyramid. Dixon took the ball and hook, which he later donated to the British Museum. Grant chose to take the piece of cedar wood back with him to Scotland, where he kept it until he died in 1895. It was then passed down to his granddaughter, who donated it to the University of Aberdeen in Scotland in 1946. The artifact disappeared shortly after its arrival. In 2019, a curatorial assistant by the name of Abir Eladani was reviewing some of the artifacts in the storage section of the museum's Asian collection when she noticed a strange box that appeared to be out of place. It was a little cigar box that was decorated with a motif of the former Egyptian flag. When she opened the box, she found the five-inch long piece of cedar that was now broken into several fragments. Eladani cross-referenced the artifact with the museum's records and realized that she had found the missing Egyptian artifact that had been hidden in plain sight for over 70 years. Through the use of carbon dating technology, the researchers determined that the fragments date back sometime between 3,341 and 3,094 BC. This discovery revealed that the artifact predates the pyramid by over 500 years. This raised several questions like what it was used for and what was its significance that earned it a spot in the Queen's chamber. It is now widely believed that the fragment is a part of a measuring tool used during the pyramid's construction. Still, it has been left entirely up to scholars to deliberate on the true nature of this discovery. But what are your thoughts on these amazing discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.